Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquigums here. I want to thank you all for joining me for the official full release Let's Play of Battle Brothers. It's out, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. We are playing. We are The Freak Show. We are missing our banner, which will be rectified soon, I'm hoping. And we are on our way over to Otterndorf. So we're going to go and we're going to head that way. And hopefully everything works out. Looks like we're going to be a little bit light on stuff. We're going to have to take any and all contracts we can get because... I believe, um, well, someone mentioned that they have a new, what did they call it? A new renown system? And we have to actually have uh, stuff like our ambitions have to be met before we are actually able to do combat type scenarios and stuff. So that being said, we're going to have to take any and all baby missions that we can get from any single person and do them because until we have a high enough renown, we're not able to get stuff from the, the clans or the the factions that actually own the different towns. So it's gonna be weird. Engulf welcomes you and a few of his men hurry over to take the cargo. He claps you on the shoulders. I take it your journey went well. You spare him the details and inquire about your pay. Bah, sell sword through and through. Halston, get this man what he deserves. One of Engulf's bodyguards walks over and hands you a small chest of crowns. Cool. Crowns well deserved. We'll take it, we are in the town, and here's another uh, neutral faction thing. So it's Adler the Steward, reckless, or sorry, restlessly walks back and forth while explaining what troubles him. There has been an audacious attack of thievery. The despicable brigand stole my crystal skull, which is of immeasurable value to me. I implore you to hunt down these thieves and return that item to me. He lowers his voice to an insisting tone. Not only will you get paid handsomely, but you would also set the worried minds of the good people of Ottendorf to rest. Let's talk about pay. He jingles a bag of coins. This will be yours if you help me out. 360 coins when the contract is done. Uh, we need to be paid more for this. 380. Alright, fair enough. Okay, follow the tracks near Ottendorf. Return the Crystal Skull. Hopefully we can do this. There is no guarantee that it will happen, but we're going to hope. We're also going to bring another person along for the ride, maybe. We have a tailor. I don't think they're really tailor-made for our group. We're not going to bring another person along. Ha <laughs> I made a pun. It was awful, I know. All right, so there are footprints leading up into the old swamplands here. I am not a fan of swamps, or really of footprints, to be honest. Bloop, 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 bloop. I hope that they uh, they are not in the swamp, but it's not looking good. Well, we found the thieves. Okay, ah, the thieves are quite human. A simple crew of vagabonds and brigands. They arm themselves as you order your men to attack. Two arms! Many brigand thugs. We may get wrecked. It may not go well, but they've managed to kill some dire wolves. That's kind of impressive. All right, by many, I hope it's like eight? Seven. Okay. Seven's doable. Ten would be a bit of a struggle. We're going to wait. I do regret it being nighttime right now, or at least darker, because it means our archer guys are not going to be quite as awesome as they could be. Now, I would normally put the Fangshire helmet on an archer, and I will later down the road. Right now, we need to have all the armor that we can possibly have on our frontline guys, especially any two-handed people. So I'm going to go with my traditional three backline uh, archer-type people, uh, two of the polearm guys. I'm going to go with two two-handed weapon guys, and then the rest will be some sort of weapon and shield. And then the quicker we get Antro skilled, the better off our company will be for all of eternity. So that's the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream. Hopefully you guys are on board with that. Brigand Thug, get wrecked! Or just stand there and mock me, I guess. When does the mocking happen? I am ready to mock. Yeah, you are. Alright, stab you in the nothing. Oh my gosh, are we really this terrible at our jobs? Ah! Well, that changes everything. Well done, Axel the Dark Hero. It is dark. We have very little chance to actually hit folks. Well, whatever. 
gonna move here. No, I'm gonna move here. Ha! That was awesome. And by awesome, I mean not that at all. 42%. Yay, we failed at life again, as always. Hmm. Neat. I stab you and miss. I javelin you and miss, I guess. Oh, we didn't miss. Antros! He did something not terrible again. Alright. Next, time to get stabby, 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 slash, slash, stab going on. You know what's going to happen, right? Alright, so he missed this chain attack there. We have this dude who is now uh, public enemy number one, essentially. We must take him down like a sweet muffin. Alright, so sweet muffin downtime. 34%. We missed because we're terrible at life. Try it again. 45%. We hit him. Perfect. Actually, he almost died. To oh, no, he didn't. It's just his armor disappeared. Alright. Stabby times. Daddy times. Alright, so stabby daddy time is here. We are looking good. We are looking solid. This guy is looking slightly less headed. Nope, he looks fine. Alright, um, another javelin toss, I suppose, to from the old Tros himself. 30%, totally missed. Not surprising. Also not great. Alright, I'm gonna say... you. Nope. Alright. I say we do some stabby bits on the guy that's beneath us here, and we really didn't do much there. I'm a bit un—I'm a bit saddened by this, this whole ordeal. 24% we missed. 24% we missed. Not great. Our shield is holding, which is a little bit okay. 8%, 10%, 10%. What if we move all the way up here? Javelin throw number two, three, four, five, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, that went about as good as I expected. Alright, he is now freaked out and ready to run. Our shield's holding, our, our hat did not hold. Oh, and our boy's getting wrecked quite badly over here. We missed, we missed again, not great. Alright, we're gonna move here, and big swing, big miss. And stabby, stabby time. He tried to flee, it did not work. And we're gonna move here, and we're gonna take a shot. We better not miss. We missed. Perfect. Exactly how I had planned it. Repost is up. 24%. 24%. Hey, we finally got it. Nice. We'll step down. We will take a stab on him. He is now freaked out. I'm gonna move around to the... We're not going to move around to the backside. We are going to go and we're going to put this here. Put his shield out so he's ready to go. I sort of don't want to do this, but I'm going to anyway. 68%, we've got this. Beheaded. And there it is. Everybody leveled except for Trenton, who, of course, leveled before. Unfortunately, he has a fractured elbow. That's not great. But, you know, he'll heal. He'll heal. Is content for now with being in reserve. Huh. Well, 25% melee. Okay, three to five days of healing. That's not great this early on. Light wounds from uh, Solar Lancer is a little bit better for us, but... You know what? That's okay. Oh, we get, like, almost nothing out of all this. That is not great either. Well, it is what it is. Those who stole the Crystal Skull are dead, and thankfully you were able to find the item itself. Adler, the steward, will be most pleased with your work here. Let's go collect our pay. Alright, I am actually not only going to go collect our pay, which is the thing I'm going to do, I am going to not... Well, I guess I am. I'm going to be able to put a new hat onto you. Oh, I like that our hat no longer gets totally destroyed. That used to be a thing that happened. And it was less than good. All right, I still don't know that we necessarily need a net, but we'll, we'll put it back on him. It's working for now. His javelin did one good thing, and then he missed every other shot because he's terrible at life. And terrible at ranged combat because that's the big rub there, guys and gals. Um, unless you're only a javeliner, I don't know. I don't know. I guess we're going to go with a ranged skill. That means once he's thrown his four javelins, he's useless to us because his melee skill will be bad. It's just, it's a bad way. 
it's a bad way. It's fine. All right. Um, perks. You know the perks, ladies and gentlemen. Fast adaptation. People say that somebody said that crippling strikes is good. Couple of your enemies, meh. Uh, what else? Nine lives is good too, meh. Um, yeah. All right. Well, I think meh to both of those personally. That's that's. Those are just my thoughts. We're going to quickly adaptate all of our people. That's right, quick adaptation. And then hopefully our people will stop missing so frequently. Or at least consi like consecutively frequently type situationally. Alright, onward we go once again. In hopes that we make it back to our town. And it does look like we will be doing this. We'll have a little bit more... Well... I guess money to work with? We're probably going to have to go and find some new people to join. Adler the steward grins as you enter. Sell swords, sell swords. Will you sell Will you sell me word of your success, really? You take out the artifact and place it on the table. Sure. The man jolts forward in his chair and takes the item away. He turns back to you, calming himself, returning his composure. Good, you did good. Very good. 380 crowns as promised. He hands over a sack of coins. Crowns well deserved. All right, I know there's more to leveling, guys. I'm not... Uh, I'm aware. All right, so Axel the Dark Hero is a two-handed bohemian. Oh, he's a behemoth. He's going to be doing that. I'm going to probably give him some melee defense because he desperately needs it and a little bit more HP, and he will enjoy that. All right, Solar Lancer the Sleeping. We're going to once again go with melee. We're going to go with uh, melee defense and HP. Once again, and now we have Antros, the the goober, the goober nerber. He can have maximum fatigue of plus five. Why don't we give him that? Because that just sounds useful. We'll give him some range skill too. Because why not? And sure, melee defense. Why not? All right, we have Iron Cowboy, the law. What's he got for us? He is a ranged individual. We'll give him the plus two. This and this. It's fine. We have a stoichiometry and doing what stoichiometry do. And that is a little bit of melee, a little bit of melee defense, a little bit of HP. And then finally, Nathaniel the Heathen. He is going to go with the plus four. The plus four over here. Don't know that his initiative needs to be any higher, but we'll give him some... Eh, hmm. We'll give him some ranged defense. Why not? There, everybody should be rejoicing and glad in this whole scenario. Ish. Scenario ish. Alright, what are we looking at? We are looking at. No more contracts available. We have Kurt the Fine. Yeah, I don't really want any of these guys. Alright, we're gonna actually take our leave of this place, but before we do that, it's not super cheap. That's actually a pretty decent price for one of those. Uh, I'm gonna buy one. And what's cool about this too, this is another thing that they've done that I really like. You see how much you bought it for. So I bought it for 261. If we don't sell it for at least that, it's big, 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 big bad stuff for us. So I wanna make sure that we can sell it for at least that amount. We're going to head back to some of the places we've already been in hopes that, like, Mirwick or perhaps even Seedorf or, or Adler Stolen will give us some sort of mission objective, some sort of contract that we can do to actually make some money. I know there's some other places nearby, Dornwall and such, but I think we're going to stick around the areas that we were originally at, oh dear, and see, you know, if we can't find something there. While the company takes a short rest, you sit down to examine the wound where an arrow punctured your side not long ago. It's been healing slowly and still aches if you move too quickly. But things are getting better. Trenton the Fox joins you, seizing this opportunity to talk to his captain. So the way I see it, nobody knows about the freak show yet. We don't want to hunt ragtag bands of brigands through the woods forever. But we'll have to make a name for ourselves first as reliable sellswords for hire. Or swords for hire. That can get things done before the noble houses take notice. They'll want to use the company for far better, better paying tasks, I'm sure. He adjusts his weapon belt and continues. Uh, just keep in mind that the High Lords are playing a dangerous game and we don't want to get on their bad side. 
there's enough stories of people who cross them to only end up quartered and fed to the pigs, and they have the means to squish even a company of sellswords. He pauses a short moment and then adds another thought. The guildmasters and councilmen running the villages and towns, too, have a good memory. We depend on them to hire the company for now, but having some influential minds may also help us get better deals with the merchants. I said minds, it was actually friends. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's totally fine. Minds, friends, it's fine. Influential friends. Tanheim. I'm gonna go to Tanheim. Alright, we are here. This is another locked mission, but that is okay. We're going to go take a peek at the men for hire. I know some of these are a bit more... Actually, before we do that, let's uh, take a look. Do you buy for more? We can make a very small amount. I'm going to hold on to it for now. But there is a small amount difference. Also, I believe the quilt is worse than the rugged. Yeah. Okay, armor, weaponsmith, um, hire. I don't know that we can necessarily afford to hire anyone right now. I sort of want to go with this guy, but at the same time... Eh. Day tailors aren't terrible. Ah, we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with what we have. Let's go to Dulman or Dulman. And hopefully we get there. Now, there is always the risk, ladies and gentlemen, while running at this rapid speed that you will run into a, a group of guys that you don't want to face. And as such, it will end poorly for you. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to see what that was. Uh, I didn't mean not interested. I just wanted to back out one. Uh, oh, well. Ambushed trade routes. The roads leading here are unsafe as of late, and many a caravan has been ambushed and plundered. With little successful trade, the selection of goods is lower and the price is higher. Oh, well, that's that's wonderful. Well, that was not good. That was not good at all. All right, well, it is a new day. We're going to go to the temple. It's going to cost us a little bit of money. We're going to actually heal him there. Patch him all up. Well, I just wasted a potential easy... I don't, I don't know... A potentially easy uh, contract there because I just wanted to see. I saw the symbol. I should have just waited until I was done. But I thought maybe it was like, hey, something's happening. You can go and do this now. So just be careful, guys and gals. Like I said, if you ever cancel the contract or say you're not interested right away, it's literally dead in the water and you can't get it back. So please be careful. At least I got to show that off. It's not exactly the ideal situation to show that off, but it's a thing that happened. Well, we're going to continue our roaming adventures here. We're going to get poorer by the day, but we do have some reserved equipment and other stuff that we can possibly bring out if need be to carry us through. Again, we have to be careful. Something could pop up right in front of us, like there's footsteps over here. That could be undead. It kind of looks like undead footsteps. But it could be anything at this point. It could even be a moose. I, I don't think it's a moose. Could be, though. I figure... Uh, oh, gosh. Orc hunters. I... Even with three of them... Probably could win the fight, but I'm not comfortable with fighting orcs. Even, even three of them at this point. Alright, let's just get to, to this place. Alright, there are some contracts here. Disappearing villagers. Villagers have been disappearing from this town, putting everyone on edge. Fewer potential recruits are to be found on the streets. People deal less favorably with strangers. Wonderful. Alright, let's take a look. Ulrich, or Ulrich, the steward, welcomes you, waving you in. Very well, very well. Now that you're here, would you please shut the door behind you? One of the men's guards pokes his head around the corner. You smile as you slowly shut him out. Turn around, you find Ulrich, the steward, walking toward a window. He stares out as he talks. I need something. It's a... Uh, well, y you don't need to know what it is. I need this something delivered to a feather... Uh, feather. To a fellow called Anton the Burgomeister. He's waiting for it in uh, Tanheim. It is important that it actually gets there. Important enough for an armed escort. That's why I'm turning to you and your company. What say you, mercenary? How many crowns are we talking about here? 
Rest assured that what I'm offering you now is a fine prize for your work. 40 crowns in advance and another 140 when the job is done. I'll accept your offer, but I'll need some time to think about it. Alright, I know where that place is, but we're going to go check out the other one. Lothar the treasurer is listening to the talk of a few peasants when you find him. When they see you, they quickly depart, leaving the man with a satchel in hand. He holds it up. There's crowns in here, crowns that those people are giving me to give someone, anyone, to help us. People are disappearing, sell swords, and when they are found, not just dead, but mangled, mutilated, everyone is too scared to go anywhere. He stares into the sack, then looks at you. I do hope you are interested in the task. I am actually not interested in this one. I'll be doing the other one. All right, uh, he gesticulates, blah, 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 he counts it out. So judging, it's going to be 70 in advance and another 270 when the job is done. I'll accept your offer, but I'll need some time to think about it. Essentially, it's going to be a dire wolf mission, if I'm not wrong. But right now, we're going to go and do the, the easy, uh, just leave and go type mission. But first, we're going to wait out the dawn, which is right there. We're going to go take a look at the marketplace, which I believe he sa they said was going to be overpriced for us. Because they don't trust outsiders. Yeah, stuff is super expensive, and that's really low. What was that? I didn't. I never saw that before. What is this thing? It's a hooked blade. An agricultural tool adapted for use in battle. Oh, it's a polearm! That's cool! That's a new one. I haven't seen that one before. Nice. Alright, so we need to go up to Tanheim, which is up there. We are going to make our way that way, hopefully without problems. I do say hopefully. Because there's no guarantee, and we're going into, like, uncharted territories and over mountains and stuff. Wow, the music kind of got weird, oddly epic there. The Cavern of Lost Screams. Well, that sounds horrifying and awful. There's a Tomb of Forefathers. That's weird. How come the, uh, the places no longer have... Huh. They no longer have their names written over them. That's quite interesting. Alright, so Mirwick is open, Dulman is neutral, Otterndorf Dwarf is open as well. So we're gaining some renown with the neutral territories and stuff, which is fine. This is another place, the Backstabbers uh, hideout. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. So some Weeder Gangers, or zombies, and some Armored Weeder Gangers. Which I'm sure, I'm sure, absolutely sure that I'm pronouncing that poorly. It's probably like Vither Gangers, which I'm still sure I'm butchering, and then it just sounds like I'm mocking people, which I'm not doing. A battle took place here a short while ago. Broken and lost equipment, bloodstains, and torn ground tell of a determined fight. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, we made it to this place. We got our 140 monies. Anton, the Burgomeister, welcomes you and a few of his men hurry to take over the cargo. I take it journey went well. We spare it exactly the same as before, guys and girls. This is what I was talking about where we would probably start to slowly stop. What's this? Terrified villagers. The villagers here are terrified of unknown horrors. Fewer potential recruits are to be found on the streets, and people deal less favorably with strangers. Because of course they do. Buy my stuff for a lot? Nope. Oh, what do you guys sell here? Quality wood. Cool. <gasps> There's a hunter's hat. That's so cool. I love it. I wish I could afford it. Probably can. Should I get it? I'm getting it. I have to. I have to get it. All right, you no longer have your cowboy hat, my fr Actually, yeah, yeah, you no longer have your cowboy hat. You now have the Robin Hood hat, sort of, I guess, kind of. And then you can take this hat, because why not? There you go. Now you look more like a farmer anyway, so I think that works out okay. Okay, and there is a contract available here. Alright, Anton, he sits down in his chair laughing to himself as he does. Don't be alarmed, Selzor. They say ghosts are afoot. Yes, yes, local peasants are poisoning my mornings with constant talk of go ghosts and goblins. They say that these supposed creatures are turning the cemetery upside down, raiding the graves to enlarge their army or some such nonsense. Obviously, it's just the work of some spade-wielding men, or men, intent on robbing graves for jewelry. I've seen it before. He looks down at his hands, briefly chuckling. Anyway, I can't just let it rest because these peasants won't get off my back about it. So, to ease them, there's you. I need you to go to the cemetery and clear out any troublemakers you find. However you, or how you do that is up to you. 
But I'll go ahead and suggest a good steal, if you know what I mean. Let's talk money. Um, you know what? I want to be paid more for this. Okay, I'll accept it. Secure the Tomb of the Forefathers. I accept this contract. And before I 100% accept the contract, uh, let's go take a look at our folks. How's your elbow? Fully healed, huh? Alright, so Trenton's back up and running. He's at full speed. He's good to go. Uh, we're going to go here. We're going to see who's available to hire. Holy cow. There's a lumberjack and an actual decent archer, which both would have been nice, but again, we can't afford much, so we are not going to be able to get that right now. Alright, so we're going to head on over to the place, and I believe it's going to be the next episode where we attempt to do battle with this group of guys in the Tomb of the Forefathers. Or the Five Feathers, one of those things, it's fine. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoyed the entire series. Uh, again, there's a sign-up video. If you guys want to sign up, go for it. Unfortunately, there's a pretty good chance that not everyone is going to make it in. So just be aware of that. I'll use as many folks as I can. I'll go down the line and just pull people, pull people, pull people. And we'll maybe get everyone in, though it's doubtful because I think we're already over like 50 people wanting to be a part of the group. And I don't know. It's possible, but I don't know that we'll get to that many folks. Anyway, that's going to do it for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, definitely do some commenting, guys and gals. Like the video, and I will see you in the very next one. Until then, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.